six elixir on that elixir collector, you want to try and reduce the return you get on that as much as possible. Poison's going to be the answer to that every time, because there's no way he can place it really that's sensible, that doesn't mean he can proc a tower. Absolutely. Three Musketeers is a great value card, but it leaves you really vulnerable if you don't have a, the, uh, enough elixir to play it. Battle Ram on the right might be an answer to help back oh, it up, though. On. Nightwitch seems to be the response. The bats will oh. do the work. He just falls short. The zap comes out a little bit too late. Stop that Night Witch, but the, one of the bars. on Tower, yeah, it brings it down to 891. That Miner out back is actually doing a lot of work as well. Check it out. Musketeer locks the tower, and that thing is going down, man. Pop, pop, pop. Send it all the way to the graveyard. Baron claims the first crown in this game as we go into double elixir time. Everything changes. Wait, duration on the elixir. That's how you need to think of it when you're targeting new structures like that. Battle Ram goes to the right. Miner's already there. Doesn't draw any aggro as Battle Ram falls short again. But you've got the slow push Arm from the Peck on the left hand side. Wait, Miner's managed to get onto it as Barb is the aggro. Bars. Yeah, takes it down to 7 Eleven. It's Suarez's it's turn to counter attack now, though. Peck on the left side is going to get a little bit distracted by the skeletons here. Still need to take him out somehow, though. Goblin Gang's a good way to do that. Destruction out the right side with the Knight, which is good. Added Battle Ram on top. And Baron's going for the counter attack now. Can he get this Battle Ram onto the tower? It's getting zapped, really? but there's no targeting. As Suarez struggles to get this left side tower down, he sits to the battle ram, he's gonna dark goblins, goblins to the back, stats it down, do we get the hit? No, we do not! Baron with the great defense the right calls side, a good baby game! Dragon. It down to 633. Baron with a decisive lead now, trying to get this series tied back up 1-1. Yeah, he has the advantage here, and he definitely needs to start keeping the pressure up. He cannot take his foot off the accelerator, otherwise he will lose out to them. Sensei, Graveyard comes down oh the right side. Oh my god, no break on this crazy Graven. train. Giant He's Graveyard on the right side. It's a base race. Nimsense is in a no, lot no, of trouble though. Baron's gonna take it! No! Baron for the win! Takes that left side tower out, Nimsense. Prince is trying to try and clear away this baby dragon. Skeleton's gonna clear through the night. Goblin Barrel again got one tap from three of those goblins. This is the just night clear them out. Like the nightmare scenario for Baron. He's up against a log bait deck and he doesn't Poison. even have log. Where's the graveyard? Oh, aggressive princess. That's scary, man. Baby dragon gonna lock onto the knight though. Nice catch out there in front. Princess is just chipping away at the left side. Baron's ignoring it. More worried about this right edge over here. Down to triple digits now. He's gonna counter push with a baby dragon knight witch. This could be the play of the game. Drop the graveyard. Drop the graveyard. graveyard. Graveyard's out the back, and we have a goblin gang wasted by Adam. It's gonna kill this right side he's got tower. It. He's got it. Stack 150, 150, 150 and finishes tower. it off. The tower goes down. Lounging around, back in the arena, ready to start. Baron cracking his knuckles. Got a little wry smile there. I think a win here for Baron would be necessary to go into the top two, but a loss might not even send him into the bottom two. He's already got two wins on board. Probably feeling pretty confident over Admin Suarez right now. We lead by Poison, Split Arches at the back, and Goblin Bow comes right behind. Yep, getting the log roll through. Just missed one of them. Baron is uh, playing a very interesting deck. Very nice to play. But you think Baron could, in theory, just cycle through poison here. Divide attention with Graveyard as well, because the Knights are going to be able to catch up. Skeletons. skeletons are starting to stack up out oh, of the back. No, 500, the King Tower 400, on defense. 300, 200, a poison added on top, and Surge gets the good game. Are you kidding his me? His first loss in the Crown Championship. Baron has dubbed the unthinkable.
push yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll work on that. Yeah. High skill mode on the right side, though, to try to block a pre integrate What the heck? Tornado <laughs> onto, a, onto an ice golem. I think that might have been a misplay there. Three for not even two trade. Can't finish off this ice golem yeah. in the back. We Goblins got on do that attention. and block on this left side as well. Yeah, he switches attention to the left. Now he's got the advantage. Log comes out to clear the goblins. Might get a couple more skeletons out of the graveyard. He does. And they start getting some chip damage. Take a little damage. Nice lock rolls through. Kills all the skeletons. Look at that. The skeletons from the graveyard are from the tombstone and the ones that surgical place are taken out in one fell swoop. Right side hit from the uh, Hograt is going to bring it down oh. to 12. We need to get another log in here from Baron to get that tower down. Can he cycle back? I think he should have enough time. Yes. Ice Skull and is... Goblin's very cheap. One more yeah. log. No, Baron. Can he beat the Do yeah, one. It, it time. gets there in time. Baron's going to put this thing into overtime now. It's no longer about the right hand lane. It wasn't even for the last minute or so. It's decimated before they can make the impact that they need to as the HP is starting to level out here. A lightning cycle from Baron. He just needs a little bit more on that left side tower. A naked graveyard. Ice Golem added on to block some hits. It gets the aggro of both towers. Ice Golem in the back for Baron's trying to soak these skeletons, but they get a fantastic surround of the tower. Brought down to 401 hit points now. That's two more poisons. Can Baron get that lightning cycle onto the left side to claim victory? Yes! There it goes. Baron wins. Defeats the undefeated. to use on a counter push. Battle Ram, Bandit, Ice Golem, Minions, and the Musketeer to join. Catch. Can Battle Ram, though. Oh, oh, E-Wiz. Double Great zap shot. E-Wiz. Yep, takes it all out. But hold on. The Minions are trying to take him down. This could be a lot of... Oh, my God. The zap from the E-Wiz was not enough. Minions and Barb still presenting a threat. A log rolls through, but that's not going to be enough to take out this battle. Bandit, and we battle need something else, Royal. What have you got for us? Guards. Guards. Yep, stab it down, but the guards uh, getting chopped up by the Barbarian and the Bandit. Bandit uh, dashes into the tower. There it is! The Bandit dashes onto the tower. He's got it! One more hit! Boy, getting it down once again. That bat is absolutely devastating. It's a small little... Just have to cycle the poison, and he could tie this series up one-to-one. -one. Well, unless something amazing happens right now. Just defend against the Scraper. Play it yep. cool. Play it cool. Hold on. Skeletons out the back the lane. Echo. Skeletons to the back. Poison added on top. It's no. a poison race. Oh, Who's yeah. going to get it down first? Royal and Baron. Oh. Royal takes it. The three crown. HP remaining. Oh my god. Royal barely pulls it off, but he can actually push her off of her target. Great goblin gang by the Baron on the back end. That thing helped me. Yeah, nice bit of tech coming out there as well. Wow. Goblin gang uncontested. Again. Baron agrees with me, man. Wow, indeed. Uncontested, dude, how did he pull that off? Three months of split. That is a little scary, though. Is he going to be able to leverage his defense? He's got nice to these guys up right. Here comes the rocket. Oh Laughter from gosh. Baron obliterates that push with a massive Murder. strike. Maybe that's why he yelled on the rocket. He had that little pocket rocket that whole time. It's like the background. There's the Inferno Tower, which is one of the heavier rockets in his deck. Danny's last Dead stand splits up the Musketeers on the right lane. One does connect to the tower. It's going to be Barbs on the left. Oh my god, that's a lot of Musketeer damage on the right side. Baron, look out, man! Can't push the Musketeer off, but only down to 710. He's I think defending. he'll hold on. <laughs> Defensive Goblin Goblin <laughs> Oh man, Baron, what is the tech that you're bringing to this game? Range. There you go, he's yeah. got six looks. One more rocket. Game Good game and well played. Oh man. For the tough games that Baron had earlier today and the close ones that he had to suffer. Execution is going to have a long time to try and kill that <laughs> golem. I mean, it's not going to be a very quick process, oh, but tornado. now he's getting real value. Ice out of spirit this. on top. Will he be able to finish off that baby dragon? That's the key. Lightning wow. as well. He's really what? going whole hog on this one. What just happened? Was that a defensive lightning for Baron? Yeah, just defense, on those troops. Defensive lightning to try and chip away the very golem. Expensive, Another though. golem is on the field for Danny, though. I mean, that, that's what I'm thinking. How can you get value out of six elixir lightning? We've got these big bodies coming for the tower. But the last card in Baron's deck is a tornado. Oh my Drags God. it onto the king, and that will be activated now. Oh, he got for this baby dragon and Nightwitch, though. He's got a little bit more juice left to deal with on the back end. Danny, his Wait, counterattack well, falling straight, apart. One the straight mini golems has gone over to the right. Mini golem brings it down to triple digits. 995, but a big attack coming in from Baron on the left side. It's going to be a Hogrider Goblin. Tornado and, the and the rocket. Whoa, expensive investment from Danny to keep that tower healthy. But he, he still does have more advantage. Yeah. 
more elixir, more juice to play around with, but only not even ahead by 100 hit points. That left side could go down to a quick attack. Here comes the Hog Rider. Goblins to support and Knight trying to block, but he's a little bit further behind. Right. Need to get a tornado here, man, real quick. Tornado, Goblin. not enough to Goblin. kill Goblins. Goblin. 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 off! Baron claims victory! A 1-0 and tears for his opponent this time. Perfect placement from Baron. Another attack on the left side. Quick attack at the Ice Golem at the bridge. Is soaking the shots from the tower. Goblin's gonna start stabbing down, but the voice is gonna take him out. The skeletons are gonna stack up. Are we gonna see another zap on defense from Royal? No, I don't think just yet, but the Inferno Dragon Whoa, and the Bandit have both been drawn have. to the skeletons as well. That's hugely inefficient use of those heroes to go for the small HP target. this big counter attack though. Royal's got a lot of troops on the board. Two oh Inferno Dragons Oh my now. god, that's Dashing a huge in. push. It's do or die time for Royal. Bridge spam is at its best, but you can dump all these troops right at the river. Gonna have two more Inferno Dragons. Banda dash in the tower. Defense and Mega gonna try to take this out. I think There's that nothing to draw the battle ramp. It's gonna connect. Long doing what he can to try and delay it. The skeleton is there as well. Does oh, it keeps it off. Great defense from Baron as he keeps his hopes alive. 507 HP has to use the defensive poison. If he can find the time in his elixir, drop that graveyard. Try and go for the win, but he's playing oh. so much defense right now. I think he should now. have kited with that ice going. I think he should have tried to get the opponent into the other lane. Once again, taking a dash there. Having to distract this Inferno Dragon, and a lot come at him. Battle Ram connects with the Tombstone. Those skeletons are going to get down by the goblins real easy, though. All right, Baron's holding on. Ice Golem to block this remainder of this push. But he built up the pressure. He just wouldn't allow Baron a window. Is the Battle Ram going to be drawn over to that graveyard yet again? Oh Ice Golem there. Look at that poor archer getting pushed it. straight to the Tombstone. <laughs> Baron's archers are actually getting a massive amount of value in this game. Royal calls the GG. He's looking yeah, for boys on his tower. There it is. He's that got it. it off. There we go. Baron is going to be going through to the next stage of the bracket. He's going to be going up against Surgical Goblin next. Popularity after he did that. He's played in play, uh, Pekka before, but looks like he's got a mirror. Uh, yeah. Almost all the way down. Marv gets a swing, though. Brought down to 2135 in the right lane. Surgical Goblin's laughing. Shows off that mirrored night which now. <laughs> Baron, look, <laughs> look, Baron can't help but crack a smile. He's like, what? Did you really just send another Nightwing Jack? He did. Pressure on the right hand side, but that's it. Surge knows he's got it. Game one. Going over the circle. Go. Oh, man. Baron is so peeved right now, dude. Look at that guy's face. He's running into that uh, graveyard again. Great response from Baron, though. He's going to have a little bit of uh, damage on that Mega Minion, but it's going to be a counter attack. It's going to be at least one swing.